Hey everybody, we are in Microsoft Excel here and this lesson is actually pretty short and sweet. It's all about links and linking in Microsoft Excel. So there's two different kinds of links. There will be hyperlinks which take you somewhere and uh, links between worksheets and then also linking between cells. So linking from one cell to another on different worksheets. I'll explain now. So as you can see, I've got two worksheets at the bottom. I've got sheet number one, sheet number two. Sheet number two is what we're going to get onto in a minute. But first, basic links in Excel, just hyperlinks as in any document. Okay, so here, visit Google. You know what? You can go insert and you can go to link and then you can choose your link over there. Okay, uh, existing file, a web page, place in this document, a new link, an email address, whatever. Or I prefer using the keyboard shortcut Control K. Control K brings that up. So if you can't remember where to go to insert a link, just try remember Control K, guys. I don't know why it's K, but it is. Okay, so I'm going to make this a hyperlink. So it's going to be an existing file or a web page. That's the address over there. And I'll literally just type in www.google.com. There it is there. And click OK. And now that text is a hyperlink to google.com. How about this triangle? Images or objects on a worksheet can also become links. So I'm going to select the image by clicking on it. There it is. And what was that keyboard shortcut? Control K. Press Control K. And again, I can tell it to go, to go somewhere like, uh, I don't know, wherever. Google.com. <laughs> yeah, Google's getting hits today. There we go. So do you'll, no you'll notice as I move my mouse over the object, it becomes a hand. And that pops a tooltip showing me the URL of where it's going to go. Okay, so far so good. Now, how about this one? So this is going to be a link, but not to a website. This is going to be an internal link inside this workbook. Control K, there we go. And this time I'm going to change my option here. Instead of linking to an existing file or a web page, I'm going to choose a place in this document. So I'm going to click place in this document and have a look at what we've got. We have got sheet number one, which is what we're on now. Sheet number two, which is where we want to go. So there it is. I just click sheet number two. Click OK. Done. Now watch what happens when I take my mouse and I click on that link it switches to sheet number two. And that is how you can create a hyperlink going from one sheet to another. But this is what I really do want to show you. At the moment, you'll see I've got the number 55 in a one. Now, I didn't type in the number 55. In fact, if I go back to sheet number one, here I have a whole lot of numbers, 55 up to 60, that I typed in there. And in sheet number two, I used a, uh, not a function, just a formula here to reference cell C4 on sheet number one. I'm going to type it out so you can see me doing it, okay? So I'm going to say, I'm going to say here in A1, I'm going to go equals, and I'm just going to go and click on sheet one, and I'm going to select cell C4. Now, before I do anything, I want you to have a look at what is in that address bar. Oh, I'm thinking web browsers. What is in the formula bar up at the top here? There it is there. What's in the formula bar? It says equals sheet one exclamation mark C4. So sheet one is literally just the reference as to which worksheet we're going to go to. The exclamation mark is making sure that we are in sheet one. Okay, so sheet one exclamation mark because we're in a new worksheet and C4 is the cell reference. If I press enter, you will notice when I go to A1 here, I'm on sheet number two at the moment. I go to A1. I am here equals sheet one exclamation mark. C4. That's what it's referencing. If I typed something else in here, if I typed in the word Apple, for example, okay, watch this. Go to sheet number two. It says Apple. It's like magic. I know. Okay, so that's what that does. Let's do another one. Here you can see I did a, I had a whole bunch of numbers. There they are there, and I wanted to add them up, but I wanted to add them up here. So I went equals sum. Sheet one, C4 to C9. So let's do that. I'm going to do that with you. Watch. Equals sum. Okay. And now I need my range. Now my range is not here in sheet number two. It's on sheet number one. So I'm going to click on sheet one. I'm going to select the range and have a look. Okay. There it is there. I'm going to finish it now there and press enter. There it is done. 
Now, I'm going to show you a common mistake that a lot of students make when they do something like this. They do this. All right. Oh, sorry. They do this. They go equals sum. Great. They know they've got to switch sheets, so they go to sheet one. Great. They go here. Then they go, okay, cool. I've selected my range. Then they switch back to sheet two to carry on. But now, if you notice, have a look in the formula bar. What happens is sheet one, C4 to C9. Sheet two, C4 to C9. And you can see... It's got that range selected, but on the worksheet that I'm on. So guys, don't switch before you've completed the whole argument. All right, don't switch. Stage sheet one, finish it off. Okay, put your brackets there or your parentheses at the end and then press enter. Because when you start switching from one to another, all right, when you start switching, it actually then starts changing depending on which sheet you're on. So, because it thinks that's where you want to be. That's why you click there. Okay, so don't do that. Finish the argument first. Finish the argument. Put in your brackets or your parentheses and press enter to then complete the, the, the function. No formula. All right.